creation. So we're glad you're here. See you soon. All right, thanks guys. Aren't you glad God gave us a day to rest? And we're gonna find out all about that. So guess what? We're in chapter two now. We've been in chapter one of Genesis this whole time. Now we're in chapter two. So let's see what God's word tells us. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was completed. On the seventh day, God had finished his work of creation. So he rested. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy because it was the day when he rested from all of his work of creation. This is the account of the creation of the heavens and the earth. So let's see what light and dark have to tell us today about the seventh day. Hey guys. Evening light. Hey dark, how are you? I'm good. What you up to? I'm just resting today. Rest, huh? Uh, what's rest? It's God's last creation. Simply wonderful. Yeah? What does rest look like? It looks like this, my friend. Just sitting back and thinking about how good God has been to us. So, there's nothing new to see on earth? God's finished. He made it all in six days. And now, it's time to sit back and relax. For how long? One day. God told us to take one day each week to put work aside and rest. And I didn't mean take a nap. This is the Lord's day. When we worship, we renew our spirits, prepare our hearts for another week of work and service. That's interesting. As disappointed as we are to the whole night and day thing, I figured he would want us going every day of the week. Oh, there's no real rest for you and me, pal. But all those other creatures out there, they were made to need rest. That's why he made you, to remind them it's time to go to sleep. And to really drive it home, he decided that one day of the week would be devoted to rest. Wow, rest must be really important. I sure hope what's his face and what's her face get it. They've had a great first day of rest, just sitting in the shade and talking to the Lord. And they get to do that every week? Yes, they do. Wow. Look at them, Dark. They're sitting in the cool of the evening, spending time with the Creator. I think they're doing okay. Yeah, I guess they are. Wow. Hey, guys. Thanks for, for this incredible lesson that we just had. I'm just sitting here resting because that's what God told us to do. And you know why He did that? He rested on the seventh day to set an example for us. He wants us to make one day a week a special day to gather together and worship Him. God doesn't want us to work on that day like we do the rest of the week. He wants us to recharge our spirits the way we recharge our bodies. He wants us to pray, to spend time in His Word, and to focus on God. Now, that doesn't mean the rest of the week we take off and never think about God. That just means we stay busy Monday through Saturday, and then on Sunday, what are we gonna do? We're gonna rest. We're going to worship Him by coming to church, and we're going to um, recharge, recharge our bodies and get ready for another week, but only because of Him, because He showed us that's what we're supposed to do. And I don't know about you, but I love to have a day of rest when I've been really busy in the week. So it's important to set aside a day, one day a week at least, aside for the Lord. But it is equally vital that we set time every day for some rest. Just an afternoon nap can recharge your physical battery. You know, we had batteries, physical batteries within us. Some quiet time with God can be the key to keeping your spirits up and being ready for the next opportunity to serve God. So I want to challenge you to get some rest this week. Yes, that means listen to mom and dad when they say it's bedtime. But more important, it means taking time to be with him. God made you to need rest so you would learn to rely on Him. When we get so busy sometimes, we just forget, don't we? But we just need to step back, take a moment, and rest, and rest in God. And let's think about that, that this week, because this was the seventh day of creation. And can you imagine being Adam and Eve, being in that garden all the time, getting to spend time with God all the time? 
So you keep joining us and we're gonna find out what happened with Adam and Eve. Until then, we will see you back next time. Pray with me as we close. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for that time of rest. We thank you that you have set that example for us. And Father, that means that we, when we do rest, we spend time in your word. We spend time writing in our journals. We spend time thanking you for this beautiful creation. So I just thank you so, so much, dear Lord. And I just pray that you will be with each and every one of us. May we be a blessing to everybody that we're around. And it is in your name that I pray. Amen. See you next time.